<laughs> and the other one, I actually was glad that you spoke the truth about the physical symptoms, and I didn't want to brush over it. I wanted people to know that, like, the way that healing happens is not this straight line. It's like, well, there's physical symptoms that's true, and we could tap them down, but it's so much better to work on the actual underlying cause. And this is something that's very difficult to uh, explain in a way that people are like, yes, I want to work on the underlying because they're in pain. They want yeah. relief. And yeah. I totally get that. And we can get relief. That's true. But I, I really would like to help people have a, a life change where, yeah. where their creativity opens up. That's yeah. what makes us who we are, that we can create things and, and feel that flow of life through us. And then I actually know that the body will then heal itself. That's just how it works. This is yes. why we have the physical symptoms to begin with. The body's saying, please help me with these blockages. You need to face these things. Yeah. But we can't do it on our, I mean, some of it we can do on our own, but we really need to help each other. And that's why I like doing this work. And, um, yeah, you, you heal the original causes by just bringing it up in awareness in this safe, comfortable, gentle way. And you're like, oh, that would make me repeat that pattern for a reason. Mm -hmm. So just getting that awareness creates instantaneous healing. And then, like you said before, in time, the physical does respond to the new energy flow we literally yeah. don't even have to think about it anymore it's like nope body's going to heal itself i'll give it as much time as it needs because some things exactly. take a little bit longer than others exactly yeah. that's that's perfectly put you know because the energy can shift instantly but but right. the the matter it takes a little more time but when the energy is moving in that right direction yeah it, it has to move in that direction and if you if we're talking about this in this way let me ask your opinion so you have physical symptoms now knowing what you know how long did it take in time for it to actually manifest right uh, well 20 years, I mean, almost like yeah, eight so years. Let's, so we should give it a little bit. <laughs> exactly. I mean, a little bit of time. How, it, how long do you think it would take for physical symptoms to s begin to subside? And do you think it's possible to have a, a, a full symptom relief? Oh, I think it's absolutely possible to be 100 percent. Even I mean, are, you better okay better. If it, are you OK if that process takes a year? Oh, yeah. Because I see it improving every, you know, little by little every day there's improvement and, and I know that with this kind of illness it does take months and I feel like I've been on that path for about a year, maybe six months on the treatment plan that I really believe in, but this like put the turbo charge on it. And okay, like, awesome. That, I, that was my next question. Yeah. Because that's right. You were already healing. You were yeah. already doing everything you needed to do. Yeah. So. But in the back of my mind, there was always that fear or that doubt of like, I don't know. It's been so long. How could it mm. change? Okay. But, but now, like I said, that's, I don't feel that anymore. Great. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. And it's interesting, even with my treatment plan, we'd been sort of doing the same thing for a few months and I felt like I was sort of hitting a plateau. And then like once I started the tapping, all of a sudden with that, I spoke to my doctor and he was like, well, let's change it up a bit and like, let's go this route. And the past couple of weeks since we've been doing that, it's been like, okay, I feel more change is happening again. Yep. It's like another yeah. level. This is actually something that occurs on a regular basis with EFT. We do a session or two or three or 10 and other things begin to reflect the shift. Yeah. So I, I worked with somebody one time and they had five years of pain and we did one session and I did a follow up email with her two months later just to see how she was doing. And she was like, well, I, I didn't feel all that different after the EFT, but <laughs> Two week, within two weeks, she felt inspired to completely change her diet on her uh -huh. own, which
which she didn't do before, yeah. which relieved her pain. So she didn't, she did not attribute it to EFT, but I'm like, wait a second, you suffered for five years. And then all of a sudden within two weeks, you decide on your, on your own to change your food. You begin to get pain relief. Then she came off her medication. This is after five years. Wow. So there is this hurdle that EFT helps us jump over that I find extremely pain, uh, uh, helpful. So when people are in pain, it doesn't necessarily get rid of it, but whatever, what the, what, whatever the cause was helps you heal that. So you can yeah. eat differently. You're inspired to eat differently, inspired to write, inspired to be creative, inspired to flow, inspired to love yourself, inspired to love others. Life, the, your whole life changes. To me, that's holistic. Yeah. yeah it's, incredible and I wasn't expecting it to be so powerful and all-encompassing but that's what it's shown to be awesome and I was actually I was reading the biology of belief you know that mm -hmm. and well because the way you were saying about that woman it's interesting because we're not always aware of it because it's so subconscious mm -hmm. and it's like just running below the surface and we have no idea so if you're not really examining it, you could have that shift and not necessarily be aware that it's like, there was just this white noise in the background that's now gone, but you don't notice it. Yeah. But because he talks about how much our belief, which includes our subconscious belief that was programmed into us from conception to through childhood and all that, and how that just is running like a tape. Yeah. It's just running. And he says like EFT, EMDR, and Site K were like the three methods he said are the most effective, powerful ways of, of changing these programs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that you said the white noise because even because I work with a lot of people who really work on themselves and they've been doing it for a really long time. Yeah. So I want to acknowledge that with people. It's not like what you've been doing isn't working. It's what you're doing is working, but there's this white noise. Let's clean up the white noise. I haven't found anything else that cleans up white noise other than EFT, uh, which I like because it's it, it's just fits my style. But uh, it does include a little bit of EMDR. I do the matrix reimprinting, and it's all under this wonderful umbrella of energy medicine. It cleans that white noise. So all the work that you've been doing, that's working. It like you said, it turbocharges it. It breaks you over that hurdle. It cleans out that white noise. So it actually works in a, in a much better way than it ever did before. So we just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cause I, I had been doing a lot of work. I had cleaned up the diet and yeah. been meditating and yeah. doing yoga and taking all these supplements and doing the medical thing, even an alternative medical, but and also I was getting into the spiritual and the meditation and and really turning inward, but nothing, like I felt like they were all working, but there was always this oppositional force, like right. kind of pulling it back. But now it's like, nope, now it's just, yeah. like EFT cleared that out. Yeah, and that pulling back tension is <laughs> yeah. tension. It's yeah. And you very feel stressful. It. Like I always felt it in my body and, and in the back of my mind, like that something was, Something was holding it back. Yeah, I love EFT because it's like let's just find it and fix it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's actually that simple. I mean, These things that we've been simple. suffering with for decades, and it's like, what do you mean it's that simple? It's not that simple. We would have. It's like, yeah, but it requires this specific technique. It's magical, you know. It is. It so is. that's why I do it. I love it. All right, thank you very much. Yeah. All right. I, just sorry, it's taking. It's can go good. Uh, about it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we we might just do that. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right.